Greetings, folks, and welcome back to another episode of Digital Daylight Gaming. This is your host, The anti Claus, as always, and today I'm checking out a game that technically I've played before, not for my channel. Uh, I've actually put in hours and hours into this. The game Portal Knights, which has been an early access for quite some time, just went full release today. And I haven't actually played it in a bit. I'm just going to go ahead and make a, a warrior dude. Um... Ooh, I always like that ponytail. Got to get my beard on, though. Uh, yeah, there we go. We'll go with the ponytail and the cowboy look. Do that up in black. Oh, they got stuff for your ears now. You can put in ear piercings. Uh, like I said, I've, I've played hours upon hours of this before. Um... Just not in quite some time, so I haven't seen what all they've. Who want with those angry eyes? Uh, I haven't seen what all they've updated, and the fact that the game finally hit full release status is absolutely fucking awesome. There we go. Get myself a good smile on. Yeah, that one. Character name. Uh, fuck, this is always the hardest part. I can spend hours making a character and then spend another hour and a half just on the name. Uh, I'm just going to name him after me. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. Do, do, do play. I said play. Uh, universe zero, select the universe. Does, there we go, new universe. Universe 2, yes. Uh, I need to select maximum island size? I think this is new. Hardcore floors with hard power system, use at your own risk. Uh, maybe I want medium. More exploration. Compact islands, basic system. So this is, I don't know if it's just system requirements or if it makes it easier or harder. I'm going to go with large, though. I like a nice, large universe, and I've got the system to handle it. So, this game is essentially... Oh, did they add a story? In the forgotten days, the world was peaceful and whole. But the fracture arrived and tore the realm apart. Oh no, the fracture! Now, the only connection between disparate, I always have problems pronouncing the word, lands in the ancient portals, and they are guarded by covetous friends who thrive in the darkness. Covetous fiends, not friends. Hey, have you met my covetous friends? The world awaits heroes who will restore a light to the portals and reunite the peaceful realm. Should have probably left the music on for that part. Uh, so those people out there who have never even actually heard of this game, uh, Portal Knights is kind of a Minecraft game, but keeping in the same idea as, like, uh, oh, now I forget its name. There's, like, a, a space version of a game like Terraria, where, like, you're not, you're not limited to a single planet slash universe kind of thing. You, you go through portals and it generates new areas, so the way you get to other biomes, rather than exploring a giant planet that keeps generating edge after edge, you go through portals into uh, different new areas. Uh, that's what the island size thing was about. Like uh, the, the When you go through a portal, you end up on an island, as they call it. Um, Squires and all, level one. So this is going to be like your home base tutorial area. Task complete. Look around moving your mouse. Sweet. I wasn't even really intended to. Did I get my character pale enough? I wanted him to look undead. You got a sword you can swing. I can do things with blocks, you know, like you do in Minecraft. Uh, get my blocks back, though. These are my blocks. Taking them with me. I got those for free for being awesome. Uh, and you got an inventory thing. You got a, a gear section where you put on armor, and then you have like a vanity section. Uh, you have stats. Uh, so it's like a. Uh, like a role-playing game kind of thing. Constitution affects your hardiness. Each point in Constitution increases hit points. 
Uh, strength is for melee attacks. Agility is for movement speed. Yeah, it says right there. Dexterity is ranged attacks. Wisdom is mana points. Intelligence is spell damage. I mean, it's pretty pretty straightforward. Uh, what do we got here? Some potions. This is your uh, whole like crafting business, as it were. Blue portal stone shards. You got stuff in here. Apparently, they want me to. I'm gonna some need some wood and some stone. Got to make that pickaxe. I think anything with the little star means quest. Uh, this is the current area. I don't even know what this. Oh yeah, see the 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 little lines off here. My world will go to this world, which in turns goes to this world. But from there, it'll give me the option of like, do I want to go here, or do I want to go down here? And if I go up here, this one will lead there or there. This one over here, that's a fucking boss. That's the basics of it. Uh, oh hey, more tutorial stuff. I uh, I learned to jump, jump around, jump around. Oh man, my place looks like shit. Basics: press middle mouse button to switch between first and third person camera. Cool. Because you know you need to do that. I gotta remember that one because I actually. Like, if I was playing a ranged person, I'd probably actually do it in first person. This one, I want to do third person, because melee stuff always works better third person. Uh, attack an enemy using left mouse button. Let's go find something to beat the shit out of. Hey, you an enemy? You are. Get fucked. Ah. Fuck you. God, these fucking parrots. For a parrot, you got a lot of hit points. Yeah, get fucked. You drop anything cool? Ooh. Yeah, blue portal shard. I need that for that one quest. Need to defeat three enemies, get two blue portal shards. Then it'll probably have me make a, a blue portal thingy. Who's that making noise over here? Little fucking slime ball bastards. Here, let's... Eh. I'll make myself a little stairway thing so I can just climb. Oh, apparently I could just jump right up there. I jump high. Oh, shit. There's two of them here. No, fuck off, slimes. Tuck and roll. Ah, fuck me. Fuck me damage. No. That unfucked me. It was a gangbang. Uh... I can't remember what the penalty for dying is. I don't think it's all that much. I think you just end up back at the, the starting area. What the fuck is that? I want to find out what the fuck that is. Ah, eh, come on. You just jump perfectly fine early, you bastard. Build myself a... Gotta, I mean, this is my home base area. Like, I gotta make it look all nice and pretty and cozy and shit. Gotta get up in here. Come on. Come on, green slime. Fuck off. I'm gonna fuck you up. Uh, fuck you up. Get aggressive. Yeah. See, I need to defeat one more enemy for that quest, though. Can I get these berries? I want these berries. Yeah, alabaster bush seed, baby. That sweet alabaster bush seed. And obviously, you know, I can chop down the fucking trees. I'm gonna probably end up chopping down a bunch of trees at some point. Just because you need that wood. You need that wood to make a pickaxe for starters. It's part of a quest or some shit. So that task is complete. What else do you want me to do? Repair the broken workbench by crafting its upgrade. Get rid of the crates. Collect the loot from the crates. Okay, so... Beat the shit out of some stuff. Where's these crates you talking about? There you go. Refined wooden blocks. Fuck this shit. Uh, repairing, place refined wood blocks to start rebuilding old farms. So I just need to put them somewhere? Cool. Ah, see, and then everything, like, it, it shows where, oh, fuck, I fucked that one up. It shows where the edges are for, like, your walls, but every time you put a block, it, like, just moves the edges. So it's very, uh, very kind of smooth and intuitive. Fucking, my roof is all fucked up and shit, God. My house looks like ass. What kind of hand-me-down, fix-me-up shithole did I end up getting my hands on? 
Fucking straw ass roof. Okay, uh, fuck. They want me to craft an upgrade for the workbench. No, I want workbench. So I need wood logs for that nonsense. In order to get wood logs, I need to chop down trees. Yeah, I think I just need to chop down some fucking trees. So, yeah, I need four wood logs. So we're going to go beat the shit out of four fucking trees. Um, let's fucking free up. I always hate, like, they need a default key for punching shit. Like, I just want to be able to push a key to go to my fists for punching shit without having to worry about this nonsense. Having an open slot that ends up getting filled up by some shit. But they never do that kind of shit. Um, what was I looking for? Oh, yeah. I need to get myself some wood. Fuck you, tree. Fuck you, tree. Fuck you, tree. Fuck you, tree. You're a nice tree. My grandpa planted you years and years ago. He came over on the May portal. Fuck that tree, though. I got some tree seeds. Oh, hey. I can just use this. Upgrade. Yeah, see, we got ourselves a nice, pretty new uh, workbench. And as a result of having the workbench, we got uh, new shit that we can probably make. Um, uh, see, like some squire waistcoat. Need some cotton for that. This requires cotton. I bet those cotton plants are right next door. Uh, craft a squire waistcoat at the workbench. And then equip that bitch. Check it out. Cotton. Yeah, collect all that cotton. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. I bet there's probably a faster way to do this, like a better tool than my fist for harvesting cotton. Of course you do, you pick cotton, don't you? Do I have cotton seeds? I do. I'm going to plant these. That way we can get more cotton in the future. Oh, those probably should have been further apart. I'm a stupid knee. Gimme. 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 Give it back. Give it back, Mother Nature, you bitch. Uh, there. 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 Uh, there. I might fuck up these boxes just to get these bastards out of the way. Look at them. Stupid ass boxes all sitting there being stupid. Yeah, fuck those boxes. See, now my garden looks a lot better. Fuck this tree, too. Ah, I didn't mean to drink that potion. If you hit the uh, the hot key that you have potions equipped on, you just use them. There we go. That looks much better, except for that tree over there. But fuck that tree for now. I need to get my fucking roof on. Uh, so I got myself a bunch of this. Is there a way to... I swear there's a way to craft more of these at a time, and now I can't remember what it is. It has been a while. So I got three of those. Come over here. Make my squire's waistcoat. Should I make a... A helmet or the gauntlets? I think I'm going to go... I think I'm going to go with the gauntlets. You always need a good pair of gloves. Health plus 20. Ooh, that gave mechanic, though. 1% chance to restore 7 durability when inflicting damage. So every time you inflict damage with, like, a sword, there's a chance to get a, a little bit uh, durability back on the weapon. And then, like, the scout stuff. Oh, that guy has mechanic, too. Extra mana, health, mana... Spell damage resistance, that kind of thing. Uh, I still need to get some stone blocks for that nonsense. And then sharpening stones are like something that restores 400 durability to the item on your action bar. So like if my sword starts breaking, I gotta fix that shit. Uh, there we go. Squire's waistcoat. Look at that. And then put on those gloves I picked up. Look at me. Don't I look snazzy? I look ready to go. Okay, so... No new quest? You got no new quest for me? Want me to make that? 
This wants me to... Oh, hey, there's a thing to return the land. Smash the chest to collect your reward. What chest? Dungeon tower. What are you talking about? There ain't no chest. Is there a dungeon tower? I don't... I see some stuff over there. Ah, you fuck off. I can't jump up and hit him because he flies. Now I'm afraid. I'm afraid. I'm going to run. Fuck you, birds. This says there's treasure in the dungeon tower, though, and I want it. This whole area is mine. Mine, I tell you. If I dig for copper on here, that mine is mine. Ooh, some cotton. Ah, fuck you. Fuck off, fuck off. Fuck yourself. Ah. No. No, it's scary down here. No, I'm, I'm afraid. Oh, there was something down there. There's something down there and he spit at me. Let me go down here. Hello? Is there anybody here? There's a door. Hey, skeleton man. Nah, fuck you. Duck and roll, motherfucker. Ah. Yeah, tuck and roll. Mad fight skills. Yeah, you got fucked. What I get? Bones? Cool. I like bones. I like the bone. Can I break these? Ooh, I can, and they're full of muns. I like muns. Uh, more muns. Somewhere, somewhere out there, there's, there's probably like a, a god of clay pots. But the way he gets worship is, you know, people breaking clay pots in video games. Because no matter what the game is, you always end up breaking some clay pots. Was that? That was mana. Anybody in here? Anybody want to jump? Anybody want to fuck with me? What are you? You, uh... You look like a little aminal. Like a little ratty rat. Oh, I got a sharpening stone. Yeah, I got myself a gray rat. I'm going to put him in my house. He's going to be my friend. I'm going to name him Larry. Or Bob? Larry Bob. Bob Larry. Ah, fuck you, sign. Old treasure room. The brave adventurer who made it this far shall take the treasure they deserve. Cool. Yeah, my treasure. What I got? Flame ruby? Yeah, I got some stuff. Did I actually get anything good in there? Like anything really good? Anything worth getting good? I'm going to use my sharpening stone, though. No. Still got some durability left. I am going to put this over here, though. Because I will need to sharpen my shit in a moment. Oh, and I got some... Uh, I got enough wood now. If I could just find some... Does this stuff... This stuff isn't stone. This stuff is like... Oh. I need to... Eh. Fuck up my fist doing this. Yeah, see, this is stone brick. I was hoping this, like, if this had been, like, regular stone, I could have been like, hey, that's the shit I need in order to make that pickaxe. But it's not. Um, Let's go back out and up. Yeah. Oh, I can just walk up these stairs. I don't know why I'm jumping. I don't even know why I'm jumping. Um, get this mushroom, because it's delicious. Garden mushrooms. So, oh, these are stone blocks. Yeah, then craft a stone pickaxe. Can I, do I need a bench for that? Well, I need two more stones for starters. Quit being a silly billy. Get, get, get. I mined this stone with my 
bare hands. All right, there's another stone, and now, now it has a pickaxe. I'm gonna put you here. Let's actually just move all of you down here. Get that shit in there, get that shit in there, get that shit in there, F that. So now, when I wanna mine stuff like stone, it will go a lot fucking faster. Um, does any of this actually include a what should do? I got another quest thing in here. This one. Make one of those. Actually, I need a bunch of those, and I need to find I need to find the thing for building these. Place four blue stones in the empty slot. Step through the portal to discover a new island. Is that going to be over there? The red one. See, the green one over here is... I don't know what the fuck you are. Are you a little dungeon thingy? Let's explore this real fast. You're nothing. You're like a little garden shed. Oh, and there's some shit down there. But I don't care. I'm going to come over here. You fuck off, slimes. I got shit to do. So... There's already two blocks in this one. When you come to these things, they'll be like blue or yellow or red, depending on how far along in the game you are or what difficulty the area is. You put enough uh, the blue blocks in there, and it opens a little portal thing, and then you... Uh, this takes us to Dusty Junction. Yay, Dusty Junction, which is a level 2 zone. And this place is a desert. And see, you can see a portal over there already that's another blue portal uh, that'll take us to the next area. There'll be different, you know, a different biome, different monsters here, different types of uh, resources and stuff for making things. Um, but I figured I'd show you guys this just to see a uh, general impression of it. This game does have online multiplayer. Uh, you actually have, like... Uh, levels and shit, you know, like when you get enough experience, you get levels, you get attribute points that you can then spend on stuff. You eventually get talents based off of your class that do cool things uh, and all that kind of fun jazz stuff. And it's a fantastic game. And let me know down in the comments if you'd like to actually see me play uh, more of this. But I'm going to go ahead and leave this one here. Ooh, is that some ruby? You folks have a great day, though. Goodbye. Ooh, flame ruby. Yeah. I'm going to get these two. I want these. Is that some copper? Some copper. Thanks for watching this episode of Digital Daylight Gaming. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please feel free to like, comment, and or subscribe to this channel.